Hello and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to make an invincibility pill that would make players invincible. Before we start, let's just do a quick review. Here I have three different parts that can kill the player. The first part is the kill pill. And the kill pill, it uh, subtracts 100 health from the player to kill the player. The next one we have is the death pill. And the death pill, it uses the take damage function to take away 100 health from the player and that kills the player. The last one that we have is the acid pool. The acid pool uses the break joints function to kill the player. And on the far side here we have the protection pill which gives the player the force field. So that protects the player from the tech damage function but the other two parts still can kill the player. So let's start by going to our protection pill and we're going to change the name to invincibility pill. Invincibility pill. Right? And next we're going to go to the script. So the first thing that comes to mind is if you give the player a huge amount of health, the player would never die, right? So let's try and do that. So in here we're just going to say humanoid dot health or maybe let's change the max health first. Max health equals to math dot huge. So math dot huge would give the player an infinite number of health. Next we're going to change humanoid dot health equals to same thing math dot huge. I also like to change the 10 here to 30 just to give me more time to run around and now we can play and test. So before we do anything I just like to look at my character here in, in the workspace and I'm going to go to the humanoid and look up its property. So I'm going to look for the health and max health property. So my health right now is 100 and my max health is also 100. Now I'm going to go and eat that invincibility pill and look at my health. Now it's infinite and max health is infinite, which means I can go and eat all those pills and it's not going to kill me because it only takes away 100 health each, but I have infinite number of health. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dive into the acid pool. <gasps> Feet first. Oh, and that killed me. So again, our invincibility pill doesn't quite make our player invincible yet. Now before we dive into how to make our player invincible, I'd just like to show you one other thing. So I'm going to go back to my workspace here and I'm going to add a spawn location. I'm going to move my spawn location to somewhere in the middle here. And if I press play right now, I'm going to spawn right there in that spawn location. And as you can see, the spawn location gives me a force field. So I can actually go and take the damage pill and I'm still alive. Now if you go back and click on that spawn location, and go to the properties window. Go to the bottom where you see that there's a section that says force field and there's a duration property. So you can see the default is 10. If you make this 30, you can, you're going to get a, a much longer force field. And if you don't want the spawn location to give the player a force field, you can make this zero. Let's take a look. So now I should spawn right there and I get no force field when I first spawn in. See, I don't have any force field and if I go and eat that take damage wall again, I'm dead. And now let's go back to the script for the invincibility pill 
and let's see how we can fix that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a boolean value into the player when the player touches support. So I'm going to declare local and let's call it invincible equals to instance dot new bool bool value. And then we're going to assign that to the player character. So we're going to say bool value part b dot parent. And let's rename that bool value to invincible. So we're going to say invincible dot name. We're going to set that equals to invincible. So now as soon as the player touches the part, he's going to have a bool value under him where the, the name of the bool value is invincible. Next, we're going to go to the script for the ask pool, and we're going to need to check for that. So here, instead of just checking for humanoid, I'm going to say n, and I want to make sure the player doesn't have the in invincibility uh, attached to him. So I'm going to say n not, and the player is part b dot parent. I'm going to do a find first child and the name of our bool value is invincible. Then if somebody touches it and they don't have a child named invincible, then we're going to break their joints. But if they do have it, then they're, they're safe, they're invincible, we are not going to break their joints. Let's play to test. Let me go and get my invincible invincibility pill. And now I'm invincible. And I can go and eat this. I'm fine. I can eat this. I'm fine. Because those, because I have infinite health, so those are not going to kill me. And now I'm going to try and jump into the acid pool. And look at that. I'm still fine. Jump again. I'm still fine. Let's see what happened when my force field is off. So now my force field is off. Jump back in. Oops, I'm still fine. We gotta add something else. So let's go back to the invincibility pill script. And here we're taking away the force field, but we also need to take away the invincibility. So we're gonna say debris, colon, add item. And this time it's going to be invincible, comma, 30. So we're giving the force field and the, the invincibility the same amount of time. I'm also going to add a for loop here. So I'm going to say for i equals to 1, comma, 60, do. And in here, I'm going to say force field dot visible. Equals to not force field dot visible. And I'm going to add in a wait for 0.5 of a second. This for loop, all it does is it's going to, it's going to make this box goes on and off, but it doesn't take away the force field, the invincibility of the player. It just, uh, it's just for display only. It's just for visual display only. But the player is still protected by the force field. Let's play to test. So now I'm going to go and grab my invincibility pill. And as you can see, the uh, the force field, the, the visual, it's going on and off. And that's what the uh, for loop does. And I can eat all these pills because I have infinite health. And now I'm going to jump into the acid pool. And... And I'm fine. Doesn't do anything to me. Let's wait till, uh, till my force fail is off and let's see what happens. Or maybe let's wait till my invincibility ability is off. So now it's off. If I jump in, it's gonna kill me.
There we go. There is one more thing I would like to show to you. So let's play again and take a look. So just keep your focus on this side in the Explorer window. I'm going to open up my character here. And this is where we're, we're going to grab the pill and it's going to, it's going to add a bull value to our player here. So let's take a look. I'm going to go and grab the pill. So right now my player is here and let's see if we can see something is added to the player. I'm going to eat it and there it is. Well, it added a force field, but let's see if it added the invincible value as well. You see right here, the invincible value. And that's the flag that's going to tell us we're invincible. And that's why when we jump into the pool, we're okay. But if you wait till that, that invincible ability wears off and you, this flag is going to be gone. It, see, see now the flag is gone. Now if you jump back in, it kills you. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you again soon.